Streets of San Francisco, a Quinn Martin production, starring Carl Malden, also starring Michael Douglas. With guest stars Mariette Hartley, Clint Howard, David Gruner, Marge Redman. Tonight's episode, Cry Help. said we had a gun, a real gun. But she never said where. Mother's not home? No. You better run along. Yes. She's supposed to be here when you get home from school. She tells me she always is. Well, you said you wouldn't be home till late tonight, maybe early tomorrow morning. So she figures she can check out for a while, huh? Is that what happens every time I go on the road? Is it? Is it? Hey, I don't know. Well, you do know where your mother is, don't you? Is she with somebody? Who's she with? Well, you mean like with one of the neighbors? I mean a man. Now, who is she with? Answer me. Answer me. Don't. No. I don't know. I'm on an answer. I don't know where she is. Don't. This time I'm calling the police. I don't know. Report of a possible 240 in progress at 589 Hayward. Any other units in the vicinity? 240, 240. Oh, child beating. Yes, yeah, a couple blocks away. Inspectors A1 to headquarters. We'll respond to that possible 240. Child beating. You made it a point to be home after school. So you hit Paul because I wasn't, because you were mad at me? Now, don't you lecture me about that. Not you. I just wanted to know where you were. And I still do. Come on, Bob. Just because we're married doesn't make me your slave, you know? I have a right to lead a life of my own. Oh, yeah? Well, you know, that depends on just who you're leading it with. Police? Are you from the police? Yes, ma'am, yeah. It's a hair boy right up here. This isn't the first time that it happened. We've beaten him before. Are you sure of that, Mr. Uh, Russell, Russell. Mr. Russell? You've got yes, to stop sure. it. All hours of the day and night, we can hear that boy screaming sometimes. You just stay down there. We'll do all we can. I know. 
know what you're doing, Bonnie, and I'm not going to put up. Hello? I Hello? Can't. Hello? Hello? Just a minute. Mrs. Harris? Yes? I'm Lieutenant Stone. This is Inspector Keller. We received a report that there's a problem here. May we come in? It's just a family argument, Lieutenant. Well, did that family argument involve your son here, Mr. Harris? I slapped Paul. I... It's not something that I'm proud of. You okay? Yes, sir. I never hit him before. God help me, I won't do it again. Excuse me, but the call we got over the radio was about a child beating. And we just heard that it's happened before. Paul, take your jacket and shirt off. Just a minute, Lieutenant. The boy said he was all right. It's, it's over now. Mrs. Harris, our job is to make sure of that. Paul, would you please take off your shirt? I want you to be honest with me. Did your father do this to you? He's not my father. This is Paul's stepfather, Lieutenant. Oh, I see. Paul? Well, I, I fell down some stairs. You know, at school, they're, they're real high. He has a, a balance problem. We're having a doctor check into it soon. Yes, you do that. I'll put it in our report along with everything else. No, oh, don't bother. Stay right here. Thank you very much. Aren't you going to do anything? Well, we've done all we can. We'll call Juvenile Hall now. I just don't know how she allows it, her own son. Well, that's one I can't answer, Steve. I only know when you respond to a 240, a child beating call, it's ugly. It's one of the ugliest. See, was that kid standing over there when we drove in? I think so, yeah. Hi. You live here? What's your name? Tommy. Are you a friend of Paul's? You guys are cops. Came by to help Paul. Tommy, how'd you like to do your friend a favor? Can you tell us what happened at Paul's? Did you see anything? If you tell us, maybe we can do something about it. No, you can't. You can't do anything! Been 
here all day? Yeah. Half lunch? No. Here. Go on, I saved it for you. I'm not hungry. Take it anyway. that bad with your folks, too? Worse. What did you do? Here goes algebra. Ah, two points. I heard you got in trouble. Told you that. Mom, she doesn't want us hanging around together. Just a kid then. Everything's different now. Do you like living with the Sanders? Yeah. They're great. Don't you ever miss her? Your real mom? Not anymore. I'd never feel that way. I wouldn't care what she did. She doesn't mean it. I know that. Well, I gotta get going. Trash man comes tomorrow, and I gotta empty the waste baskets and stuff. You coming? Gotta go home sometime. Come on, I'll race you. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Tommy. Can't you stay for a while? Bob? Bob, what are you doing? I got in your mind. Stop it. Stop it, Bob. Listen, we can talk about it. Talk? I'm going to talk when all this time I've been feeling guilty for suspecting you, and you've been spending your afternoons with him. But you don't know what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. No, Bob. Bob, stop it. Put it back. Oh, my Bob, are you crazy? Put it back! Mom? 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 No! Don't! Stop it! Get it! Get the gun! Pick it up! That does it. I'm calling in again. Somebody's been shot. Struggled. I mean, all I wanted to do was to get the gun away, to talk to the man rationally. And he thought you were seeing another man? Yes, sir. Oh, he was crazy like that. He was jealous of any man I even smiled at. Anyway, Paul, um, Paul tried to help. Bob knocked him down. And Tommy... Tommy's last name, that's, uh, that's Sanders, is that right? Yes. Well, what exactly was it that he did? Well, Bob dropped the gun, and Tommy picked it up. And then, and then, oh, God. Oh, dear God. He shot your husband? 
Mrs. Harris, do you have any idea what made him pick up the gun and shoot it? No. No, I, I watched it happen, and it, it all happened so quickly. I think he thought he was trying to help. There was, there was nothing that I could do. But Tommy was standing right over here when he pulled the trigger, is that correct? Yes. And uh, do you know where we can find him now? He lives about a block up on the next street over. Paul, what's the address? Mom. Paul, what is it? Come on. It's a... Uh, it's a fourth house. It's on the far corner. It's on the left side. Thank you. Do you have a doctor, a family doctor? Yes. Well, I think it would be wise if you and the boy took a mild sedative. Oh. Oh, thanks. We'll be all right. Thank you. Lieutenant. Yes. I, uh, I, I never liked Tommy playing with Paul. I never liked it. One of the neighbors said that he'd done some bad things, some juvenile problems. He even had a record. Record? What was it for? Oh, no, no, I, uh, I didn't listen. It was gossip. I, I didn't. Uh... That's all right. We'll check it out. Goodbye. Bye, Paul. Mom, what are they going to do to Tommy? He'll be all right, Paul. He's just a young boy. He'll be all right. But what did he do before? I told you, I don't know. Didn't you hear me? I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Tommy couldn't do such a thing. Well, that's why we're here. We wanted to hear Tommy's side of the story. May we talk to him, please? Well, he, uh, he isn't here. I haven't seen him since this morning. But, but Tommy is, is not the kind of a boy that you can hold on to too tightly. He's, he needs room. He, he needs trust. More than most boys his age? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, Tommy is our foster son. Dave and I, that's my husband. We love Tommy very much. And we're trying to help him learn to live with his past and overcome it. I, I just can't believe that anything like what you're saying could happen again. Again, ma'am, I... Uh... Just what is it Tommy has to overcome? Brutality. Ugliness. A nightmare no child should have to live through. You see, Tommy's parents, his mother drank. She couldn't even make a decent home. And she was more afraid of losing her husband than she was of anything else in her life. And he, well, he apparently blamed his wife and his boy for all of his own failures. Then one night, about six years ago, Tommy was eight. His father started in on his mother, beating her. A child like that, I, all he knew was that he, it was his mother and he loved her, needed her. Anyway, he got a gun, a rifle, and, and he shot his own father.
can't do anything. What? That's what Tommy told us the other day, remember? You can't do anything. Hey, Mike, you're gonna have to put out an APB. Yeah, I gotta find him. I know, I know. But he must have been scared when he pulled that trigger. I bet he's a lot more scared right now. Yeah. We have to help him, and fast. Well, that's what I was thinking. Maybe we ought to give it one more shot first, just the two of us. Kid's probably got some hangouts. So maybe the social worker handles the case with them. You're right. It's worth a try. Try to calm down, Ruth. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm sorry. It's all right. Take it easy. Just take it easy. But try to remember everything. Right. Everything. Yes. Now, the police were here when? How long ago? I don't know. Just a few minutes. It was just before I phoned you. Oh, Dave, I didn't mean to worry you with that message, but I was so scared. All of a sudden, I didn't know what to do. All right, all right. Now, the police actually told you that Tommy shot someone? Yes. Did they see him do it? No. It was the woman. What woman? Oh, she was the mother of, of the boy he was playing with. I think their name was Harris. They're positive? She described everything that happened to them. My God. Where did the gun come from? I don't know. How could he have gotten his hands on a gun? Well, it was theirs. It must have been in the house somewhere. And then they said Tommy ran? Yeah. Why? I mean, how did something like this happen? Tommy! You believed it. Tommy! Where were you? Do you believe it? What? What they said. Do you believe it? Tommy, I want you to come in here and sit down. You do? Tommy, you do! No! Tommy! Tommy! Paul? What are you thinking? Nothing. Oh, honey. Oh. It's, um... It's all over now, you know. Hey, brought you something. <laughs> this is supposed to be for your birthday, but thanks. You gonna open it? You're all mixed up, aren't you? I... I got a confession to make to you. I'm kind of mixed up, too. I need you, Polly. You know that, don't you? I know, I don't... I don't act like it a lot. But I need you now more than ever. Be... Just... Just the two of us. When, when your daddy left. Mom. 
Yeah. Won't he ever come back? No. Why not? Oh, Mom. Mom, please, what did I do? No, no, Paul, honey, you didn't do anything. You're mad again. No, no, Paul, I'm not. I'm not mad. It's all right. What's all right? That you're mad at me. I think I'm old enough now that I can understand. Understand what? Why you blame me for Daddy's leaving. Oh, Paul, that's not true. Mom, it's Mom, not... please. You said you were mixed up, too. Was it about me or was it about Tommy? What? If it's about me, it's OK. Really, I understand now, and it's OK. But Tommy. Oh, shut up, Paul. Mom. Shut Mom, up. Mom, please, just you didn't do shut anything. Up. Mom. Mom. Okay, I just wish I could say th thanks, Charlie. What? That was a lab. The gun is lousy with prints. Two sets of adults and some that have to match a kid's. Tommy's? Yeah. Smeared. All of them are smeared. Except one match his. What's that, the ballistics report? Yep. Open and shut, 45 caliber and a 45 service issue. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Sanders called in. Tommy came home, but he took off again. Did you get out an APB? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the heat's on. Armed police force looking for a 14-year-old kid. I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold it right there. Now, I don't like this any more than you do. But we got to find the kid. Especially when he's down on himself like the Sanders say he could be. Giving up on himself and everybody else. <phone rings> Homicide, Lieutenant Stone. Yeah? Yeah, where? Okay, you stay with it and keep us posted. Tommy's mother? Yeah. Nothing. Are you sure the child welfare doesn't have another location on her? They gave you the last one they have in L.A. She left L.A. three months ago, no forwarding address. Could uh, Tommy have gotten in touch with her? No, they wouldn't know. Well, maybe she got in touch with him. There's no way the agency would never give her the address. Look, what? why don't we call and talk to Paul Harris? He was a friend of Tommy's. Maybe he'd know where he'd go. All right. I guess we better talk to him. That's all you can do is just keep digging. Dig, dig, dig. I'm sorry, son, but $2.52 won't take you to L.A. Not even on a kid's ticket. How far will it take me? Local bus. Oakland, maybe. Tell you what I'd do if I was you, though. I'd complain to the interstate commerce people after I got home. Look, son, I don't know what your folks are sore about, but they'll cool off. Take it from a guy who's been there. Doesn't help to run away. Son. Son. she'd mind if we came in for a minute? I don't know. Just a minute. I'd like to talk to you about something. I guess so. Is 
Hey, what happened? Have an accident? I was trying to fix it. Oh, hell. Looks like you got a pretty good repair shop here. <laughs> uh, you said you wanted to talk. Yes, yes, I do. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions about your friend, Tommy. Did you find him yet? No, 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 not yet. What's going to happen to him if you do? Uh, well, that's not really up to us. We're just trying to find him, make sure he's all right. You know where he is? Are you going to put him in jail? No, 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 we don't put children in jail. Well, what do you do with them? Well, we take him to juvenile hall for a while until the judge decides what's best for him. Well, what if they've been in trouble before? You know about Tommy's background? Just that he had to live with somebody else. Is that what could happen this time? Well, there's special courts to take care of things like what your mother said Tommy did. No, no. Mom said they wouldn't do anything to him because he's just a kid. She said it's not like if... If what? If he was a grown-up, she said things would be different then. But they wouldn't do anything to Tommy. That's all. Where's your mother now? She had to go out. She go see somebody or, or what? I don't know. She just made a phone call and went out. Hey, let's get back to Tommy. Do you know where he might be? No. Oh, some secret place maybe that the two of you would like to go when you wanted to be alone? No. Your mother said Tommy was standing up here when he fired the gun. I guess. Well, was he? Yeah. And where were you? Right by Tommy. Why? No, I'm just being curious. Paul, I'm afraid this ship has had its last voyage. Unless you're a better mechanic than I am. Looks brand new. Is it? Yeah. Well, who gave it to you? Got it from my mom. Steve, what do you say? Yeah, okay. Listen, Paul, good luck with your boat. Yeah, thanks. Listen, if you happen to remember where he is, just let us know, will you? Okay. Goodbye, Paul. It's a good ship, and I wish I had one. We'll see you. Just where did you pitch in there? Phone number? Since you got a phone call left, I figured maybe that'll tell us where she went. And that stuff about where were you standing, what's all that about? Two kids, they were standing right next to each other. Oh, now, wait a minute. What? Are you saying that this kid pulled the trigger? This is the kid that Harris beat up. But Tommy was the kid that ran. I think Tommy has been running all his life. At least that's the impression I got when we were talking with Mrs. Sanders. Well, are you thinking that Paul's mother lied just to protect him? Is there a mother's natural instinct to want to protect her child? He sees his mother and father fighting. He finally gets a chance to get back at the man that's been beating him up. He picks up the gun and he shoots it. Could be. Well, let's see where this leads us. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, aren't we supposed to know that kid? You mean the kid homicide's looking if for? That's the make. You better call it in. Central Florida headquarters. Spotted suspect of APB for murder warrant. Headed west at Market and Pine. Partner in pursuit on foot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you sure this is the place? Yeah, this is the uh, address they gave me. Oh, Ed Cooper, can I help you fellas? Yeah, my name is uh, Stephen Keller. This is Lieutenant Stone. Oh, yeah. You handled a case involving a family named Harris, or Robert Harris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a way we could talk alone for a moment? Well, I guess so, sure. Say, uh, I wasn't aware of this service. Maybe you need publicity. Good thought, Lieutenant. But child abuse is something most people don't want to hear about. They just keep hoping it's going to stop on its own. Well, let's see here. No way. Lieutenant, I'm sorry. But it looks like we're going to have to use my private office. What, this is your private office, Mr. Cooper? I always thought it was mine. <laughs> Well, this is where it's happening, isn't it? It it's certainly happening. is. And the name is Ed. This is strictly a first name operation. All volunteers and all former bad guys. You were one of these guys? That's right. But it's been a long time for me now. And I'm hoping I can help keep somebody else from going through what I went through. What I put my son through before I got help. So now I, uh, I man the phones once a week and Hope that some other abuser will call up and cuss me or talk or just cry instead of taking out his frustration on his kids. And that's the cause, huh? Frustration. Well, I'll tell you, Lieutenant. I've got a library on the subject at home. There are so many causes that nobody's sure. Now, the only thing that is sure is the damage that's done. 250,000 children are beaten or injured every year. 35,000 of them end up seriously hurt. Two of them die every day. And at the hands of the people who were supposed to love them. What do you think caused Mr. Harris to lay into Paul the way he did? Mr. Harris? Yeah. Mr. Harris had no problem that I was aware of. Wait a minute. It was her. It... Paul's mother, it was her. Did she call today? Now listen, Lieutenant. I'm not a doctor, and I know what she told me isn't legally confidential information. But I just wouldn't feel right telling you guys what we talked about. You wouldn't feel right about a 14-year-old boy being accused of murder that he didn't commit? Now, would you, Ed? We got the call. Where is he? Lost him, Lieutenant. We know he got off the bar at Lexington. But he doesn't live too far from here, so he probably knows this area better than we do. Check the lumber yard. Don't stop. Get going. Around the block. Come on. Keep moving. So what do you think? Just keep it moving. I don't want to think. Tommy? Tom? Tommy, are you here? Tommy, I'm sorry. I am. Mom said it would be all right. They wouldn't do anything to you. 
Tommy. Please came to the house again today, just a little while ago. What'd you tell him? Nothing. I couldn't. Not even about this place? <sighs> no. <sighs> Tommy, I didn't know what to do. It's okay. I just couldn't tell what really happened. I couldn't. I know. Maybe you just better go now, okay? Are you gonna be all right? Like your mom said, I'll be okay. I'll see ya. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Is he inside, Paul? Where's Tommy hiding? Don't hurt him. Please don't hurt him. He didn't do anything. I'll get him. Inspectors 8-1 to headquarters. Tommy? to hurt you. All we want to do is help. I think I did it too, don't you? Well, did you? Doesn't matter. Oh, come on. It matters a lot, especially to your mother and father. <sighs> I heard her talking to him. She thought I did it too. Well, I don't know what you heard, but I know what she thinks about you. But she told me herself. That's right, yeah. <sighs> and right now, she's pretty scared with you running off like this. So why don't we go on home so she'll know you're all right, okay? Come on. What about Paul? We're going to want to talk to Paul's mother, too. Steve, uh, we'll wait for him in there. What's the matter? What do you want me to do? I thought you wanted to prosecute him. No. No, I don't want to do that. Does he... does he have to be? You said he killed your husband. Oh, but he was just trying to help. I mean, he was just a young kid who was, who was trying to help. Well, you saw him pull the trigger, didn't you? You said he picked up the gun and shot your husband. And that's what you said, didn't you? What did he say? Now, you know he said something entirely different. He lied. Did he? Or did you? Isn't that what the Parent-Child Center is trying to help you stop? Lying to yourself and to everybody else? <sighs> we know how Paul got those welts. Mrs. Harris, you knew about Tommy's problem, didn't you? And you thought we would hold that against him. Take the blame off of you. A 
14-year-old boy. Now, you pulled that trigger, didn't you? Don't lie. Some things are hard. new bikes, huh? Mm-hmm. How are things working out? Oh, fine, Lieutenant, just fine. A little crowded with both of them in the same room, but my husband says that's why they build bunk beds. You know what? Your husband's right. <laughs> and how's Tommy's adoption coming? It'll be final next week. That's terrific. Yes, it is. But you know what the best part is? What's that? At night, when they're supposed to be asleep. And we can hear them laugh. <laughs> 